Small Business Summit provides a platform for public-private engagement on some of the constraints that businesses face when trading across our commercial region. Political leaders and policymakers will have the direct opportunity to interface with business leaders and captains of industry so as to develop solutions that will help overcome these challenges. It is indeed my hope that we will come up with innovative and practical strategies to promote industrialization and enhance trade in our region. This summit, too, is being attended by some of our parliamentarians, who I believe will keenly be following the discussions and whom we also believe will provide the support required when translating these proposals into national and regional legislation. I am also delighted that this forum will launch the Source 21 Commerce Handbook, which is a business fa facilitation tool that aims to inform businesses, traders, SMEs, investors, and others on the various market opportunities across the Commerce countries. This forum will also introduce the 50 million women speak project that aims to empower women entrepreneurs across Africa by providing financial and non-financial information to help them grow their businesses. In terms of consumer base, the commercial market accounts for 520 million people, while the tripartite free trade area and the Africa Continental Free Trade Area account for 630 million and 1.2 billion people, respectively. However, despite the size of population, the continent has only exploited less than 16% of intra-Africa trade's potential. Truth be told, but the situation is not better in Comesa. The share of intra commerce trade in goods of its total trade currently stands at just 7%. It is also unfortunate that most common products traded within our markets are still raw minerals and traditional commodities with little or no value addition that is undertaken in Africa, notwithstanding the fact that Africa has the largest number of young consumers in the world. This is the situation that the Africa Free Trade Area attempts to remedy by facilitating higher product diversification and higher levels of progress. Our continent is full of resources products, markets, and services that can propel interstate business to rival established configurations in Europe, America, as well as Asia. As we work towards seamless regional and continental integration, we must remember that we not only seek a better business environment for our large enterprises who are represented here, but also expansion of our small and medium businesses, as well as employment creation for our young people. Africa is a young continent, with about 60% of our population under 25. All our efforts to increase intra-Africa trade must also therefore seek to generate decent and well-paying jobs for the millions of educated, talented, and energetic young people in our continent. And today, I encourage you all to spend considerable time during this forum on how we can actualize this important goal. Today, as a country, Kenya has achieved tremendous progress in reducing the cost of doing business and improving the overall investment environment. In particular, 
We have maintained a stable macroeconomic environment by promoting appropriate regulatory policies that not only support business, but also attract higher volumes of foreign direct investment. Kenya, as one of the larger economies in Comesa, and among the leading importers and exporters, particularly for agricultural products, who also are amongst the world's leading exporters of tea, but also among the top three commercial exporters of horticulture and floriculture, and in addition, our own manufacturing sector, being one of the strongest in the region, with links to both East, Southern, and Northern Africa. I would therefore wish to take this opportunity to encourage more companies to invest in Kenya's wide range of lucrative investment opportunities that exist across various sectors, including infrastructure development, agribusiness, manufacturing, and financial services. And I also assure investors that Kenya continues to pursue a free enterprise economy and aims at building the strongest industrial base in our sub-region. And I do believe that with a sound economic base as well as a well-trained workforce, we can become a destination for this that is ripe for foreign investment. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I would wish in conclusion to draw all your attention to the fact that one of Comesa's key objectives is to promote joint development in all fields of economic activity and the joint adoption of macroeconomic policies and programs to raise the standard of living of all its people and to foster closer working relations among all its members. This is not an easy objective to attain, but I do hope that our deliberations in the next few days will focus on how we can spur the rapid growth of our economies through trade and improve the lives of ordinary citizens. Therefore, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, with these very few and brief remarks, indeed it is my singular honor to declare the Source 21 Commercial International Trade Fair and a high level business summit officially open and I wish you all good deliberations, successful outcomes and I thank you for your attention and may God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much Your Excellency for your wonderful opening remarks.